Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdUnite.com and today I want to show you how to find or relink your missing folders inside of Lightroom. Before I show you how to fix this problem, it's important to know why it happens in the first place. I want to take a look at my hard drive in particular and see if there's something that jumps out at me. There's a really easy way to do this. If I select the root folder here and right click on it, there's an option, Show in Finder. If you're a PC user, it'll say, show in explore it's the same thing just go ahead and click on that and it'll automatically take you to the hard drive where this folder lives if you look at the folder that I have here you'll see that it's actually different than the folder in my Lightroom catalog there's a dash one at the end of this folder so at some point I must have accidentally come to my hard drive renamed this with a dash one and as soon as I did that Lightroom said hey dude, I don't know what you're doing on your hard drive, but something happened here. The reason is because once you import your files into Lightroom, you create a link or a bond between the folder that's on your hard drive and now the folder that's in Lightroom. And if you ever leave Lightroom and make changes outside of Lightroom, you're gonna cause problems inside of Lightroom. Now that we know why the problem happens, how do we go about fixing this? And then, how do we go about making sure that it doesn't happen in the future? Well, to fix this problem, all I have to do is rename this folder back to what it was. So if I take the dash one out, you'll see that when I go back over to Lightroom, that now the question mark has disappeared. The reason is because now the link has been put back together. If I wanted to avoid this from happening ever in the first place, what I should have done was right click on the folder that I wanted to rename, right click on it, and then it gives me the option to rename it, at which time I could go in here and put dash one. And if you're wondering if this is actually happening on your hard drive or whether or not you need to go now to your hard drive and make the same change, let me show you what happened on your hard drive. I'm gonna right click on this folder and say show in finder. And there you have it. What I renamed inside of Lightroom actually renamed on my hard drive as well. So there's no advantage to going to the hard drive and making this change when I know that I could easily make that change from inside of Lightroom. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time just so that you can see. I'm gonna go to another folder. I'm gonna right click, rename. And I'm actually gonna take these numbers out of the front of it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then if I wanna see what that did on the hard drive, I'm just gonna right click, show in finder, and there you go. It has been renamed there. Moral of the story, make your changes inside of Lightroom. Don't go directly to the file and make changes there. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel. We'd really greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode.